Questions, question oral, the honorable leader of the official opposition. along with others don't believe the Emergency Act was necessary to clear the protests and blockades. Many experts, including people like Chris Lewis, former commissioner of the OPP, are saying the government had all the tools they needed and the Emergencies Act was an overreach. Yep. The Prime Minister reported this morning that Ottawa is clear, the trucks are gone and the borders are open, but he says an emergency remains. Can the Prime Minister tell us what is the criteria for this emergency to be declared over and on what date will he end these unprecedented and invasive measures? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Emergencies Act is enabling critical measures to end these illegal blockades and prevent further occupations. We've heard from police chiefs, security experts and municipal and provincial leadership that it has been essential to the response. We've been very clear that these measures will apply only when and where necessary. And again, these tools are to supplement local capacity, not negate or override it. As soon as these measures are no longer required, we will gladly lift them. This is responsible leadership. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Can the Prime Minister tell us exactly what powers the Emergency Act is giving him today that do not already exist. I know he said he needed the act to force tow trucks to tow trucks away, but as he's already said, the trucks are gone, so we don't need tow trucks any longer. What power is needed right now, today, under the Emergency Act that doesn't already exist under current Canadian law? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. After weeks of people being harassed in their neighbourhoods and seeing small businesses forced to close, after billions of dollars were stalled in trade, putting people's livelihoods at risk, after evidence of increased ideologically motivated violent extremism activity across the country, and after a flood of misinformation and disinformation washed over Canada, including from foreign sources, it became clear that local and provincial authorities needed more tools to restore order and keep people safe. I ask all members of Parliament to stand up for Canada this evening. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister talked earlier today about mending fences. He called on Canadians to call their unvaccinated cousin and for Canadians to aim for more decency in our public discourse. I would like to ask the Prime Minister if he would be willing to lead by example and apologize to Canadians that he called racist and misogynist and with un unacceptable views because he disagreed with them. I think it would go a long way, Mr. Speaker. Would the Prime Minister rise today and would he lead the way? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the right of Canadians to express their opinions, the right of Canadians to protest peacefully, to disagree with their governments is something we will always stand up to protect and withhold, even uh, to uh, uphold, even with uh, the implementation of the Emergencies Act. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms continues to apply. And quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, continuing to demonstrate the way Canadians are being there for each other, not harming their neighbours, not occupying cities, but being there for frontline workers, being there uh, to support each other, that has been the story of this blockade and this pandemic. Yeah.